anger, and determination. Following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, protesters descended on the streets of San Francisco Friday afternoon. I'm extremely disappointed that the Supreme Court has taken a million steps backwards. Several rallies were held around the city, from the steps of City Hall to down major streets. At one point, CHP even clearing around 200 protesters off of Highway 101. And the far right wing of this country has been working on this for 50 years. Outside of City Hall, Karen Andy says she remembers the time before Roe versus Wade and is shocked the country's laws are now returning to that period. I, I can't believe I'm out here. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, it's an, it's an awful thing. They're trying to have the government tell us who we can be. Several political leaders were also out in force. Many attended a rally set up by Planned Parenthood. There, they vowed to do everything they can to help protect women in other states. We're really going to rely on abortion funds and other people who are going to step up to support these people economically to get out of these states and get the care they need. While the court's ruling won't impact abortions in California, several protesters say they want to see extra steps taken. An initiative on the November ballot would guarantee abortion and contraceptive rights in the state constitution. I feel incredibly privileged to uh, live here in San Francisco where I have so many like-minded individuals. And while protesters say they're frustrated by the day's events, they tell us they're not going anywhere, viewing Friday as day one of a long fight ahead of them. I want to see all the young people in this country get out to vote. We have a really uh, liberal generation that is turning 18, and I want to see them out at the polls come midterms. Bye -bye!